fighting a Kushidera temple. The monks are in danger. Norio! Lord Sakai! What they've done. Kushidera Temple deserves reverence, not bloodshed. Centuries of wisdom lie within those walls, and the Mongols were ready to torch it all to the ground. They attacked for a reason. The temple gives people hope. The abbot's been telling people to pray for a great storm to wash the invaders from our home. Now the abbot's missing. And the brutes stole the most sacred relic in Toyotama, a statue of Buddha, carved at the temple's foundry. My brother would have recovered then. He would have given these monks hope before they ran for the hills. Then we honor his memory and restore the temple. The Mongols stole the statue of Buddha from the main hall. And the abbot? He and his closest followers fled. I'm hoping they found shelter. I'll see to the monks. I hope Abbot Kome is safe. The abbot is from Cedar Temple. Why did he come here? To help resist the Mongols in Toyotama. But when they attacked, he escaped. The battle was chaotic. Might be difficult to track them. There's a farm nearby that supports the temple. We'll start there. Abbot must have found shelter. This reminds me of another time Abbot Kome went missing. The temple was divided by a feud between our senior monks. What were they fighting about? I don't remember, but it seemed important at the time. The abbot disappeared for a week. We dropped everything to look for him. What happened to him? He hid from us on purpose, and we stopped fighting in order to find him. He's a cunning leader. Another time, my brother and the healer, Hochi, were fighting. The abbot started carrying a rock everywhere, arguing with it night and day. Hochi and Enjo were so embarrassed, they reconciled. How did your brother feel about the abbot? Enjo respected him, like a father. If the Mongols captured the abbot, it could work out well for us. It sounds like he tricked them into giving up the invasion. <laughs> You're beginning to understand the abbot Kome. Fire! Coming from the farm. Love the fire, don't they? He's not the abbot. Just one of his followers. Keep searching. He's dead. Burned alive. Norio. Oh. 
water barrels, <clears throat> tipped over, oh. straw bedding. Hmm. Damn. Could the abbot have saved himself? He protected himself with wet bedding. Escaped out the back. Maybe he survived. Yeah. Whoever survived the fire went this way. And there's still hope. Footprints are heavier, farther apart. He was running. Mongol ahead of us. What's he doing? Stay quiet. What was he looking at? Someone was wounded here. Follow the blood. Hurry, my lord. Negium Harsin. Blood. He jumped down. Rock rocks. Is that a cave? No. Is he? I'm sorry, Norio. Without his leadership, the monks will leave. And the temple will fall. The Mongols won. What's that next to him? A Lotus Sutra. Written in the abbot's blood. His final act. Like a samurai's death poem. The point of this sutra is that we can all be Buddhas. From the lowest peasant to the greatest noble. Written with his dying breath. Not for himself, but for those he left behind. Show the sutra to the monks. If they see the abbot's devotion, they might stay. And this is the sutra the abbot wrote in his own blood. A final act of devotion. A call to stand up to cruelty. A call to stay and not surrender. We will honor the abbot's sacrifice, Norio. We must not let Kushi Temple fall. Enjo the guardian saved us once. Now his brother and Lord Sakai have saved us again. And together we can defeat the Mongols. Now 